Hi all, my name is Madhavi Srinivasan. I am from Nanyang Technological University, Singapore. I work there as a professor. My research focus area is on e-waste recycling. Specifically, I look at lithium-ion batteries recycling. I also work on energy storage devices such as lithium-ion batteries and supercapacitors. I was watching this entire historic event as a teenager back in India on television with awe. As a child, I wanted to create an impact and make a difference in humanity, society and the world that we live in, in the best possible way that I could. Every day, I work towards this goal and wish of mine. My research breaks the wall of e-waste. Worldwide, there's an increasing problem of electronic waste that is being generated. To give you an example, in 2017, there was over 45 million tons of e-waste that was generated. Specifically, with increasing application of lithium-ion batteries in portable electronics and also in electric vehicles, there is a large stream of lithium-ion battery waste that is generated every year. This is a big cause of problem because majority of this e-waste end up in landfill or incinerators. Presently, only less than 10% of these lithium-ion battery e-waste are generated. And the present process for recycling lithium-ion batteries is using pyrometallurgy, which uses very high temperature. Such approaches are not environmental friendly. So our solution we have pretty much found a green environmental friendly way to tackle this lithium ion battery e-waste. So what did we do? We used uh, another waste stream, namely food waste or fruit waste to treat and recycle e-waste, which is lithium ion battery waste. So waste for waste is our approach. These are the lithium ion battery waste that we collected on campus. We use the mechanical battery shredder that is shown behind to shred them into pieces like so. From here, we collect what is called as the black mass. We use orange peels to actually extract essential elements such as cobalt, nickel, lithium, manganese from this black mass into the solution here, it's the cobalt solution that we have actually extracted. From here, we are able to make new cathode materials, which are nothing but electrode active materials for battery like this, which we can coat it onto an aluminum or copper foil. Using that, we would be able to make new lithium ion batteries. So the concept of old lithium ion batteries to new lithium ion batteries using fruit peel waste. Society will benefit from our research because we have found an environmental friendly approach to tackle the growing lithium ion battery e-waste. Moreover, our approach is environmentally friendly because we use benign fruit peel waste such as orange peels. Not only that, we have also shown that we can have a waste to resource approach where we are able to extract precious metals and elements like lithium, cobalt, nickel from battery e-waste and turn it into a resource in making new lithium ion batteries. So essentially, we have shown how we can make new lithium ion batteries from old lithium ion batteries in a very environmental friendly approach. There are several questions that are unanswered and we are trying to address it with regards to our research now. The first is to see whether we can extrapolate this concept of using orange peel to mixed fruit peel waste. So we are collecting mixed fruit peel waste from our canteen at the university and trying to reproduce this process of extracting precious metals from lithium ion battery e-waste. The second point is we are looking at how we can scale this up 
take it out of the lab and see if it is economically viable. The third point we are looking at is the performance of the new lithium ion battery that we have made. Uh, how do we improve this performance and make it equivalent to those of commercial ones? So these are the questions that are still unanswered and we are working on it. I discuss my research very often with my child and my child is extremely excited about uh, e-waste research. Coincidentally, he is a teenager now and his birth date is 9th November 2007, the same date as the falling of Berlin Wall. 